Right, hello everybody. Welcome to a 300 TV advantage. Woohoo. But you'll still have Claw Pond, probably, won't you? Oh, top rank curves. Oh, shit. Maybe I should have sat on it. Maybe I should have sat on that record, eh? Um, yeah, he doesn't have Claw Mighty Blow, even. He's got some Mighty Blow and our Claw and a Dirty Player, but he doesn't have. He doesn't have the kill stack. He's 50-50. He's got a Lamar record. He probably just genuinely lost 2-0 to Woody's, didn't he? I don't see why he'd concede that. I don't know why I checked that. He conceded that one, so... There's a chance of him conceding here. We'll definitely go all out and murder. Yeah, I think you're at the same state I am. I was Kurgol, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point, Wolfpack. That's a good point. So, um, so yeah, Jordel then, obviously, because he's a Chile five, and that that would be the best thing that would that would uh, that would translate to football, isn't it? Movement and and agility is what is the only thing that would matter, really. Or, or maybe, or maybe somebody who has the kick. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe uh, who's the fucking one? Eldrill Sidewinder might be good, mightn't he? Because he's fast and he could uh, he could hip hypnotize people. That would be useful. Hypn hypnotize the goalkeeper and make him lose his tackles on. Yeah, maybe maybe Eldrill would be pretty good. Um, but yeah. Oh, this is the guy. Who, oh, did Joe lose? Did he? Fucking hell. <laughs> what do I think about all pros? Don't like them. Oh god, he's scummed Morg! Wow! He's a badass! <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, pass block would be pretty good, wouldn't it? That'd be a good skill. Who's the who's the guy? Who's the star player? Um that 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 Brett's can have? He uh He's got kick. You could have him. Can't believe he's slow though, isn't he? He's slow. He's just not as good as uh He's no way as good as uh, as as Eldrill. Eldrill's like fifty percent faster than him, with sprint as well. He'd be like he'd be faster than a young Theo Walcott. Who was the fast guy? Romadal. Romadal was pretty fast, wasn't he? Don't know who the fast players are now. I know I know that I know that Walcott was when he was young, he was one of the fastest, wasn't he? But Romadal was pretty fast. Thierry Henry was pretty fast, wasn't he? I guess I guess Eldra would be pretty much like Henri, but then he would also be able to hypnotise people. <laughs> what about our Lord and Saviour? I don't know. Oh yeah, Griff. Yeah, Griff. Griff would be pretty good. Yeah, but the strength wouldn't be, wouldn't matter, would it? And he's slow. He's moving seven now. He doesn't have a leap. Being able to leap would be pretty good. Jordel might be the one. Mm. Block doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> but yeah, sprint and sure feet. I guess Griff's got sleepy. <laughs> what a stupid fucking conversation. <laughs> Morgan Thorg, and then you could get Morgan Thorg would be a good player to have, and then you could just put them in the goalkeeper but goal, and they just wouldn't be able to uh, to fucking get the goal in the net. He'd be like a hockey goalie. <laughs> He'd be that big. <laughs> yeah, exactly. To a goal. Yeah, you, you honestly, you're, I think you've reached the point that I got with him, which is sad because if it's if it all goes swimmingly, and you know you give you know, fucking 50 hours of availability and then your opponent match, you know, opponent matches some of that 50 hours of availability, then they're a joy. But when, when every game is just a struggle to get played, it's no fun, is it? Uh, I don't know, he was, he's... Yeah, I think he could have got Nashrak. I think he could have got, uh, could have got Borak plus of his, I think, which would have probably been better than Nashrak plus of his. Glorious! A weekend stream to celebrate our fourth month, Jimmy. 
I would have preferred a ring, but this will do too, I guess. <laughs> Glorious. Thank you very much, Lemon is good. Yeah, no ring, unfortunately, but thanks very much for the ring swap. <laughs> oh, man. That still takes four hours over a chainsaw double. <laughs> Oh shit. Yeah, I mean, obviously hitting the beast would be good, but then you've got to roll a 2 plus to be able to hit him, haven't you? Which sucks. Going for Morg exposes you to a foul, but at least it's easier to hit him. But then you're only 55% you're only to get him down instead of 75% for the beast. Smashing the beast would be amazing, to be fair. I don't like the mole can just get two dice wherever he wants. Rolling a one to hit the beat would suck, but if I get loads of guard around, it's not so bad, is it? Plus he is guard. He is strong with guard. Oh god, he's strong. It's hard to get a good hit in here, isn't it? It's a pretty decent team, actually, isn't it? Although it's not that killy. He's got a lot of block and guard and 90 blow. It's, uh... It's not bad, but he doesn't have the wizard, which is good. So he could block him, follow, and these could, these guys could block, do stuff, and then could get guards in here. Go for the two D on him. Now, I like, I like the seventy five percent knockdown, but just rolling a one to block it just fucking really sucks, doesn't it? So he blocks him, follows. So that takes out that that one. Could put a strength guy there with a guard there to make it hard for him. And then this guy can come round to here. Or this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then blitz in from there. It'd be four, five, six, yeah. Oh well, think about all that, just get fucked on. That's good, isn't it? I think I would have gone for Wizard and uh, Wizard and Borak, personally. His carrier. He's, he's just a sure hands guy on the bench. My carrier's back here to get the ball. Didn't even three dice with Morg. But he's going to put a bit of pressure on the ball here, isn't he? Oh, shit. Wish I'd gone for Morg now with, the, with where the kick's gone in. This might mean that Morg dies at least.
Gee, if I had to hit him with three assists. Or maybe free up a warrior to do it. Nice. Definitely go for freeing up the warrior. Fuck. So now it's a cheeky GFI to hit Morg. the GFI but he is going to risk the GFI <laughs> you motherfucker good Thick skull. Yeah, it's just base. Herb derp, base, base, base. Shame he didn't die, wasn't it there? Yeah, exactly, Lemon is good. It was good though for the first turn, I think. <laughs> He's not bad. He's, it's hard to get the assists on him. But it'd been good if I just cast him on turn one, and then his entire inducement would have been wasted. I would have gone for I would have gone for Borak and a Wiz. Like unless you can't afford Borak and a Wiz, I would go Borak and a Wiz. Over over Morg. Like if you had Morg and Borak and a Wiz, fair enough. Nashrak and a Wiz is closer. But then, you know, in closer in value, but I, I still probably go Nash Racking Away's over, over Morg. It's hard to, to give up a Wiz to take Morg, isn't it? When he's just so expensive. But you do have Block, he is good. So, yeah, I thought it might have been alright to put in the rest of the It was. Protecting his dirty player. Don't really want to pile on if I don't have to. Like, Morg is really good though, isn't he? He's got block. And he's got... He's got edge 3 so he can kind of do stuff as well if he gets the chance. This will be a huge removal if it if it is a removal. Or a stun even. But isn't so that's good. Can't get two guards in there. So you can blitz him. Is 
This guy being down there is pretty annoying. So I don't want to give up the, the hit afterwards, do I? Derp, he's fucking spring four. <sighs> Gotta make another GFI. What the fuck is this? Oh, no. Nope, it's okay. Can just put two here, right? And then he can go there. Oh, it sucks. <laughs> Classic. Classic. Oh, I'm so happy. Things are going so well. I'm pretty happy. Pesty. Yeah, I guess he is defenseless, yeah. He, like, the rotters and the claw pestigore is the easiest one to get knocked over. Well, he's, he's easy and well, no. The, the, rot, the dirty player rotter is number one priority because he's making pylons scary and he's easy to perm and he can't regen. So, like, easy to perm means more chance of a concede. Obviously, it doesn't matter in terms of the match itself. <laughs> Pretty perceptive, Fedro Jack. All right, good. At least, at least he didn't get a insta cas from the follow-up blocks. But I was pretty dumb, not realizing he was strength four. If I can get more, I will get more. But ooh, interesting. Of course, <laughs> of course, he goes for it. Uh, I hate it. All my opponents fucking go for green blocks, get rewarded. He didn't, he didn't even go fucking. He ain't even got a fucking mighty blow, mate. Fuck off. What is this shit? Like, what even is it? What even is this? He could have blocked him. He could have blocked him. But instead, he runs around, greeds it. Gets a fucking Kaz. Get out of fucking town. What is this shit? I just, I can't, I can't fathom it. Every game, people play me and they're like, yeah, I'll great block this, get a cars with nothing. I'll just fucking get a cars with nothing, why not? Another cars for nothing, yeah, yeah. Greeting this surely is the best play. Cars, oh, good. What I expected. <laughs> Every fucking time. Right. I need a guard and an assist in there, but then who do, who does the blitz go on? The dirty player. 
or morgue. Don't think Morgue can get an assist on him. Brits might go on to the uh, thing himself. Or just a dirty player. Well, just fucking greed it because we've got club bomb. Well, greed it, yeah. Yeah, go on then. I'll be I'll be a fucking idiot. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna get a stun with claw on when I'm a fucking idiot. Take the death there. He's got to run away, I think. Run back, turn four, and then turn five, get forward and stuff. Alright, good, got some removals going anyway. So now I might be able to use the man's advantage to make some good blocks. Terrible greed. It was a terrible, terrible reroll that I made. Terrible. Fucking terrible. But that was tilt. So all these times where people say I'm tilting and I'm really not tilting, that was tilt there. Because that was a terrible decision. Greeding that. Terrible decision. Terrible, terrible greed we were. Inexcusable. Awful play. I'm just sick of getting dicked on by awful play. That's all it was. So I tried playing awful as well. Though not quite as awful because I was doing it with Corpon. Rather than nothing. <laughs> Proper conceding just in my yeah, fair enough. <laughs> oh, man, need a need a guard in there some at least that's the uh That's actually not good, yeah. The horrible dirty player just getting sacrificed here. More. Then at least he's occupying more, isn't he? It feels like I'm down like a bunch of players. Even though only one's down. It feels like I'm down loads. That was good. Well, that was a huge, huge one dice f fail from him, wasn't it? So now I could claw on him, but I think I have to claw on this, this claw. Defenseless Claw is a great target, isn't it? Mm, 
Giving up mighty blow fucking hits here for no reason. Maybe I shouldn't have piled on there. Because it made made the protection very light. But But maybe. You know, but then he would have just got two dice with claw, wouldn't he? Arguably. But yeah, maybe he's actually maybe I shouldn't have piled on there. Right, anyway, I'm gonna go and get uh, get a little bit to eat now, so I shall be right back. Honestly, I think the pound was bad because I hadn't broken AV and he was isolated over there, the claw guy. So. Um, anyway, right. I, I realised I wanted a bad turn. Shouldn't go for a fucking food in my opponent's turn because what if you just randomly fucking kill somebody? Pretty dodgy, wasn't it? So. Uh, I'll wait until the end here. Right, so yeah, at least he didn't follow here, so I'm actually going to be able to get a cage, aren't I? Um, you just cause him again. So. I haven't broken through at all. <laughs> um, I don't know how I'm going to break through. just feels like I'm down players. I don't understand how it feels like I'm down so many players. If I don't stand him up, well, like, you're just getting knocked down by him anyway. Do I dodge back? 
But he's got tents. This is really rough. Wish I'd saved that reroll and not wasted it like a complete fucking dickhead. Get the fuck out of town. What is this shit? Go on and fail this dodge. Fucking hell, this is a disaster. Yes, Sergeant Oddy, that unfortunately is is the price, isn't it, to fucking to win games sometimes. Sometimes the price to to draw games <laughs> or lose, <laughs> but you can't just not not try, can you?
Greed is good. Greed is right. Greed works. Oh, I've fucking, I've thought I'd unmuted myself and I'm saying loads of stuff. <sighs> yeah, I think I had to reroll that one. Agreed. I think that wasn't such a really agreed one. It's just that the greed one has left us without rerolls instead of with one reroll. And I really do like to have a reroll on the last turn in case something happens. But I mean, uh, at worst, this is going to be... He's just going to base us and it's going to be an 8 out of 9 dodge. Okay, odd. Why does it say fractured leg here instead of stunned? Interesting bug, isn't it? Maybe that's to do with... Um, with the decay on these. Oh my god, I keep thinking I've unmuted and I haven't. Fuck's sake, anyway, I've finished eating now, so that's alright. Um, so yeah, I, I would have made a three dice if I if I could have done, but I wasn't about to risk a two dice. I wasn't about to make a pointless one in 36 risk before scoring a touchdown. <laughs> um, though, in the first half, there would have been payoff for it, wouldn't there? Um... You know, like, if I, if I could have made a Kaz, there would have been a payoff to taking an extra 1 in 36 risk. So even then, making a 2 dice block with Clawpon wouldn't have been categorically bad, because there would have been the chance of making a Kaz which could have influenced the rest of the game. Well, if that had been on one, turn 16 and I would made a, a block with, with block, it would have been, it would have been horrific. Has this guy got any Kaz yet? One Kaz. So he's one away from getting guard or tackle. And uh, touchdown for the ball carrier, so he's two touchdowns away. Yeah, all the rookie goats just get abused now. A fighter would present himself here with the Blood Bowl police, he would he would be absolutely entitled to. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Dr. Hope. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's fair enough, yeah. Such sooner, yeah.
A blots. Yes, just when I needed it. Brilliant. I, I just saw the sandwich kiosk. There it is, isn't it? I like that you can see them. But I also like that you get this now. That was a really good improvement. So yeah, fair play. Fair play to Cyanide with Legendary Edition and that. Fair play getting these extra things in. That, that, I think that's a really good feature, see, being able to see which which stadium it is. Like, you know, you can say it should have been in. Wow, mate. Try try making a block and not breaking an arm. <laughs> I'm sure he's like... He's got Mighty Blow. To be fair, he's got, he's got a few Mighty Blow, to be fair. Four Mighty Blow guys. And a core guy. But I'd like him to just not break AV on a block. Would be, would be. I'd be okay with that. I'd be okay with him just not not breaking AV on one block. <laughs> I didn't refer to anybody. No TLC. It was a. It was a subtle reference. <laughs> Maybe not so subtle, but um, yeah, there would have been there would have been pros to it. It's making the block in the first half, wasn't it? Pretty sad that he's got 11 in the second round. But I didn't even get a bang on him, to be fair. Just, I'm lucky I've got 11 in the second half. Despite having a kill chaos team. <laughs> Despite having a killer chaos team with 14 players. I'm lucky to have 11 in the second half. What the fuck is that about? Like, I just can't. I literally can't understand how consistently badly these games go. It's stupid. Murloc Joe beat the fuck out of me last night with his human team. It's just stupid. No two ways about it. It's just... And I guess I guess it's because the games where I don't get diced, the opponent concedes on turn two. So maybe, the, maybe that factors into it and makes it feel... feel, you know, worse than it actually is. Because I had two wins today, but only only played about four turns in those wins. Whereas the turns that I'm getting diced, I play 16 turns off. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Lemon is good, yeah. No, that's true, Pedro, but... You know, he's he has he has made two cars and a, and a, and a KO. Um, which, you know, is a 14-player team. Kind of annoying, but um, yeah, at least his dirty player's gone, so it makes it made it safe to pile on. Not that I did anything after that, after that happened, but and the reversion to the mean could always happen, couldn't it? I mean, it made it made the drive really hard, didn't it? All the, all the constant stuns. It felt like I was down players the whole drive. Just due to all the stuns that were constantly happening. That is very true. That is very true, do Don Fluff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this will be yeah. <laughs> What's the chance of this being an armor break? I wasn't. Yes, that's why I that's why I have that stadium. Indeed, jelly deals. Yeah, I did have to stop buying into the stuns, that's true. That's very true. 
exactly so even though i've got the the lucky if you like removal of the of the dirty player couldn't capitalize on it because needed players standing due to, <laughs> due to not having any men <laughs> Toes are getting there, like they still look pretty horrible. But um, the big toe hasn't had any discharge for th for four days now, so that's healing pretty well. But then the other two got a bit fucked up last night. <laughs> lovely, lovely word choice. Ah, oh, okay. So he, he couldn't go a turn without fucking causing a cars. Obviously not. Ah, but he, at least he removed himself. Good. Good. Fucking fuck. Right. What is there here? That seems dumb, doesn't it? Fouling a beast man when I've got claw pommers. I don't think I agree with his decision there. Well, I say that. <laughs> his decision was awful. Unequivocally. I can blitz here and then protect him if it's a bolt down. What a surprise. Won't be a shitlord and won't fucking pile on. The only expendable player is the ball carrier. <laughs> oh, fuck about. Discharge, yeah. How gross to do from human cheerleader to rotter belly. Um, I mean, rotters are really, really, really bad, aren't they? They're, they're not that bad now, they were bad. Um, but no, they're, they're not so bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I don't think he will. I think he'll commit to try and bash down the pom. Exactly what he does. Can't stop Morg two dicing people with my blow, can I? That's the that's the problem with my with Morg. If you don't like that one hit that I got on him, wasn't really that much of a commitment to hit him. I really needed to cast him with that hit with that blitz, because now I just I can't deal with him, can I? I literally can't deal with him. It's pretty hard to get three assists on somebody. Yeah, it was just, it was just easier though. That was the thing. I just thought it was easier to target him. I could protect him better and stuff. But yeah, maybe I could have gone for the guy. Also, the the, the follow-up, if I'd piled, you know, if I'd followed to pile on him, the follow-up was more dangerous there, wasn't it? Which wasn't so good. Go for the Pestagon now. 
I want to go for Pestigos if I can. Just don't break on me. Good. Yeah, pest I'm just going for the Pestigo 100% there. Read it like a shit lord. I would have done. Have to pile on to avoid the mighty blow hit. Him dodging here would be really good. And failing the dodge would be catastrophic. <laughs> Him getting knocked down anyway is just the same as failing the dodge. I don't want to re-roll it though. And I think what I do is hedge, hedge my bets, open up this flank for him to go. And if he does, he's got to do it on my blow. And then if this works, he can't go that way anymore. Anyway. Yeah, there hasn't been there has been zero foul appearance. However, I have really tried to go after the pestigors and the rotters, which is why it's the pestigors and the rotters that were were cast. Um, and Morgan went for as well, and but yeah, I've I've been trying to target. Oh, he's a huge foul here if he wants it. Oh, fuck off, man! Can you just not fucking break armor every fucking block? Fuck off! What? Every game! Every game! It's four cars and battle for a draw. And it, it's not every game though, because when it's not like this, they just concede. <laughs> it shouldn't be this hard to be a fucking Killer Chaos team, for fuck's sake. Huge foul from the claw guy. Really had to get more of that time there than the three days. No good. Well, that was alright, wasn't it? Can't hit the ball. Because it would just be a one. Can't hit Morg though.
Good. Wish that had happened a lot earlier. He's getting two dice down with Mighty Blow, though, isn't he? Okay, safety back again. Maybe I should have just blitzed him or something, but... <sighs> Fucking hell. Could have one deed the ball. Um, the record's good, to be honest. But, um... It's hard because most of the games aren't enjoyable because the games where it was going to be enjoyable they concede. <laughs> and the games where they break armor every every turn, every single block, they keep playing, you know. So it makes it, it makes it tough. I think I could have surf mode now. My frenzy, my frenzy's been cast. Just non non armor breaks for a turn. <laughs> Using what players he's got to get a three dice block. <laughs> Looks like. Safe moves first, finally. Oh, I shouldn't have him there because he's 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 more this side, isn't he? He's going, I guess, pulled back. I can always go further forward next turn. Be a shit cunt. Of course. That's why I would never have re-rolled that normally. But why not, eh? I'll be a shit cunt. Fail this dodge and die. That seems like a good thing to do now that I've re-rolled that. Yeah, good. Well deserved. Brilliant. Oh, actually, the stun is pretty good for holding that. I don't think we'll lie. That fucking reroll of the foul things what a complete shit cut. Yeah, but that's it. It's, it's an unbalanced viewpoint, isn't it? Because the games that are fair, they concede. <laughs> So, yeah, it looks worse than it is. Wow, pointless GFR. Not punished. Once again, all the guards being being removed. I need seven guards so that when I when I take four cars, I've still got some fucking guard guys left.
Could uphill. Oh no, he's got to stand firm. Could have uphilled him to block it, to power him to there, and then blocked him and freed him up for the 2D on the ball. He can probably just do it himself. I activated it. Risky, but of course. He knew he couldn't fail, so why, why not do that? We'll power him. Just a GFI to get the ball, isn't it? Blocked my way with the assist. That wasn't very clever, was it? Double GFI to hit the ball. Worth it with time running out, I think, to be honest. I'm not going to blitz anywhere else. Try a 2 plus this guy. A shocking no pile on there. <sighs> two the two this morning lemon is good. Uh, one guard, the, the guard warrior got minus movement, so I'll have to keep him because it's too late to replace him. I think he just got missed next game. And then, like, yeah, this guy got minus movement. Who cares? Strength 4 warrior, although it sucks. Fucking strength, movement 4 warrior. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Jelly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe you're right. him and then get the guard in there and then get him there and then block the ball or yeah I can't run all the way around guard could go in there he could block him he could block him then he could palm him no I think it's best to just do it with him isn't it Push, no, push make, makes it beautiful. But it's not the end of the world. Should have probably moved him in there first. I guess. Now he's stuck on the beast still. And he can free him up. So I should have definitely done the safe move first and just didn't do it. What a cunt. Yep, I didn't do safe moves first.
rookie error, a schoolboy error there, not moving him across. Taz here because I didn't move the warrior. Yep, seems fair. Seems fair. Every slight, every slight mistake punished with a fucking Kaza. At least it wasn't a perm. He's only he hasn't got any scoring threats though. So at least it was a win. not be salty. It's a game where he's got fucking Morg. I've got that much of a TV advantage he's got Morg. And half of my removals are coming from fucking Sendons off. He's got one scoring threat. I can't even. I can't even get two dice on him. So fucking dumb, isn't it? <sighs> he could blitz base the ball, and I could double mark a warrior. Yeah, that seems the best bet, doesn't it? Should have marked him first. Oh, God. I'm surprised that mistake wasn't punished with fucking instant death. the reroll. Good shit. <sighs> yeah, yeah, to be fair, making the case worry is surfable actually. Yeah, I should have but I still think I should move him out. Was a definite mistake. But he's, I mean, if he scores now, I'm unlucky, aren't I? But he's got a reroll for it. A relevant block first. Well done. Why don't you get a Kaz? Oh no, just a KO this time. <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Three, five, four, two. Mm, yeah, come on.
Fuck off, man. Exactly, Jelly. I could pretend to not be salty. I could pretend to not be salty quite easily, but I'd rather just be honest and say that's absolute fucking bullshit. It's the only reroll he's needed in the entire game. The rerolls he used in the first half were, in, were entirely uh, were entirely greed rerolls. This is the first root, root time he's actually failed anything in the entire game. And uh, it gets him the fucking draw. I, I don't even know how to fucking do a one turn. To be honest, I probably no, I don't have eleven players anyway to do it, so it's not possible. So I can set up for a catch here or a catch here. You can do it. The most annoying part about all of this is it it looks like I'm light on guard every game, but it's only because everyone's fucking raping me every game. <laughs> so it's not really not really as big an issue as it looks. It's not that bad, but it was bad that all of the things that happened before it, wasn't it as well? The data tells me TV down is okay. Yeah. Chorfs now, nah, fuck Chorfs, Jelly. Chorfs are just like that all the fucking time. It's got to be L, so that at least. At least when it's uh, well, look, it had to be elves anyway because got the got Jim foul. We got Jim foul because of elves. Carried down the last turn, that would be a great fucking end. Alright, so now he's an MVP away. At least that's something. Pros, there's two pros in the playoffs this season at the moment. I just can't believe it. <laughs> 18 AV breaks. 41% AV broken. 47 with claw palm. Down to 11 players, 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five, six, well there's 14 isn't there, less three, so I can get an extra guy to make it 12. Um, it was Snowman Fagor, that was it, wasn't it? So 12 men's, and then that means I can sack the movement for that movement 5 1. Gonna have to keep the movement 4 guard guy. I wish, I just, I wish I'd stop playing, you know, and not try to get block on this fucking ball carrier. Because it's just been draws and fucking getting players permanently injured. That's all that's happened in these last few games. Alright, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.